Kilpatrick's lawyer is planning to appeal his corruption conviction all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Today, a lower court refused to review the former mayor's case, leaving Kilpatrick with one last shot at freedom. Seven investigator Heather Gatalo joins us now with the very latest on this. It continues now, huh, Heather? It does. One last long shot here. Now, lawyer Harold Gerowitz told me tonight that he still needs to talk to his client, but he does expect that Kwame Kilpatrick will want to fight today's decision. That means they'll have to hope that the Supreme Court will hear this appeal. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals won't be hearing any more arguments about why Detroit's former mayor thinks he should get a new trial. Kwame Kilpatrick is serving a 28-year prison sentence after a federal jury convicted him in 2013 on racketeering, bribery, and other charges. Back in January at the Sixth Circuit, lawyer Harold Gurowitz argued in front of a three-judge panel that Kilpatrick's original lawyer, Jim Thomas, had a serious conflict of interest during the case. Those judges rejected the ex-mayor's appeal, so Gurowitz asked for an en banc rehearing, which would have meant presenting their case in front of the entire panel of Sixth Circuit judges. Today, that court said no to that request, leaving Kilpatrick with one last long shot, appealing to the U.S. Supreme Court. Gurowitz says the issues in their appeal are good, but getting this in front of the Supreme Court is so difficult because they don't take very many cases. The appeal has to be filed within three months. Of course, we'll let you know if the justices decide to hear this case. Carolyn and Glenda. Still a continuing saga. Thank you so much, Heather. And still ahead on 7 Action News.